Welcome back to the channel. I'm using my phone because my cameras all suck. Batteries, 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 batteries. Uh, anyway, that's probably a different video. So I've been playing around the high tunnel. I've got a lot of stuff down in the high tunnel, but I want to talk about something specific today that is affliction of tomatoes, typically in a high tunnel or in a pot. And it's a magnesium shortage. So I'll show you what the leaves look like. It's a telltale sign of that. And when you have a magnesium shortage, I'll show you what you can do. So stick with me and I'll be right back. Over here in the high tunnel now, and I am looking at some plants. I'll show you what these leaves look here in just a second. But it is uh, probably magnesium shortage. So a couple of things can cause, mag well, uh, multiple things can cause magnesium shortage. Uh, a lack of magnesium, obviously, in uh, sandy soils. That is uh, possible because the magnesium may leach out quicker than in some clay loamy soils. And I've got, according to my jar test, I've got sand and more sand than clay and some stuff like that. So it may have leached out over time uh, in this soil. And then also high um, potassium amounts. And it could be that maybe the particular area I'm having an issue with, I got a little bit too much fertilizer on or something like that. Uh, and there's a couple other things, um, fertilizing with ammonium nitrate, some other stuff could lead to uh, issues with magnesium. So the fix is um, you go get some Epsom salt, Epsom salt or magnesium sulfate. And there's a couple of different ways that you can put that on. You can mix, uh, mix it up in your drip irrigation, make it a, a solution and put it on that way. You can also uh, make it a liquid and spray it on plants or you can put one tablespoon per plant on the ground as a side dress and then water that in so let me flip the camera around and show you what this looks like all right have my tomato plants i got four rows of tomato plants i think i showed you guys those before uh, a lot of them are doing really good a little i got some that are uh, six feet tall down in the back uh, up on the trellis system got my roller hooks and everything put up there and they seem to be doing good. I just got another hundred roller hooks in. I don't need them all, but I had some, well, there's some over there that I didn't have enough. So I need to get over there and put uh, roller hooks on those, get those strung up. And then I had some that uh, a couple of vines coming off, so added those. But at any rate, uh, magnesium shortage. If you look here, this is classic uh, telltale sign of magnesium shortage where the veins stay green and then the area between the veins on the leaf uh, turns yellow and then... Uh, cases that are worse than this they'll uh, they'll turn purple as i understand it uh, so what is happening here is the plant isn't getting enough magnesium and it will take magnesium out of the bottom leaves and use it up in the top where the new growth is at so you've got look, what looks like good healthy leaves here nice and green and uh, and the new leaves that are forming up here are nice and green uh, but it's sacrificing the magnesium coming out of here so what you do and i've already done this one get your magnesium sulfate or your epsom salt if you go into your feed store you probably want to ask for magnesium sulfate because they might not know that it's actually also epsom salt so uh your tablespoon just get your tablespoon in here get that like i said i've already done this one so and then i just spread it around and i've started watering i'm gonna bring that hose over here and so now That'll uh, just start getting watered in uh, to the soil as I water and uh, slowly release that magnesium into it. So we'll see here in maybe, I don't know, hope a few days, these uh, leaves improve their color. So that's it. If you've got uh, leaves on your tomato plants that look like this, it is most likely a magnesium issue. And this typically only happens in high tunnels. High tunnel? Or if you have uh, container plants, if, you're, if your tomatoes are raised in containers. So there you go. There's a little bit about magnesium and tomato plants and how to fix your issue. There you go. Talk to you guys later.